Delighted to see you all here at the launch of a new British standard, 8901 2007. So a very auspicious day for the sustainable events industry. We spent quite a lot of time trying to work out how to make this subject of sustainability accessible to people who are new to the subject, to small firms, to those who are um, possibly in sectors where this is not a particularly discussed subject. Sustainability is very much at the core of our brand, centrally placed within our vision. And what we really want to do is to use the power of the games to inspire change, change in people's lives change in sports participation and change in communities and the environment. And for us that's really what sustainability is all about. It's an agenda for positive long-term change, in our case for sport but also for people and for the environment. And I think it's fantastic that the event industry and th hopefully through this standard we can actually spread the understanding of what sustainability really means. The whole purpose of a standard like this is that we encourage consensus, we pull in the best ideas, we pull in practical solutions. We were actually um, did, a, did a real trial of the standard and we were able to you know, bring the uh, standard into both the planning and the delivery and the review and evaluation of uh, the festival. The stakeholders and sponsors involved in the International Festival really embraced the concept of sustainability when we told them what we were doing. And also we're, we're a festival of world first, of innovation and of risk taking, so to be involved in this, this first ever standard, uh, first ever trial of a British standard was really exciting, um, particularly one that was sustainable event management. Having a standard in place is actually a driver for change, a driver that actually encourages folks to think about the sustainability issues that otherwise might get taken for granted. What improvement can we make by thinking in a more sustainable way? And it's such a very nice process to capture and quantify that and actually gives you a sense of return on your investment. So accreditation to BS 8901 may encourage suppliers to make changes to the way they operate. It could give them, or give us even, a competitive advantage so that we can see some real improvements to the industry in the future. One of the major causes for environmental pollution is large-scale production. Harm is caused because waste products cannot be made to just disappear. And this is the very essence of the aims and the driving force of BS 8901. But we can play our part in helping the industry just that bit more. We can help it by becoming environmentally sustainable and the implementation of 8901. And if we can inspire other cogs to do likewise, we can drive that future forward to an environmentally and commercially viable future for us all. I think BS 8901 could be really important for the events industry. I think it's good to have a benchmark there for companies to be able to see how they're performing against other companies that are operating in a similar arena. I think it's good to have standards there that people can aspire to. Um, it does set a benchmark against which uh, everybody can 
see what your environmental credentials are, what your sustainability credentials. Well, sustainability is a key part of our whole approach to, to the game. It's been part of our whole philosophy and our mission, our vision from the very beginning of the bid and has continued through to the organising committee. As an industry, we've been looking for something like BS8901 uh, to give us some tools to improve our sustainability credentials. BS8901 is really going to, I think, create more interest and awareness in sustainability within the event industry. In terms of the, the content of the presentations today, obviously, it was fantastic to see the case studies from people who have already implemented the standard. So one of the levels is that we've ended up with a product, a product that is really quite uh, significant and relevant and important, which we'd never had before. And I, I would like to think within a few years' time, it'll become a sort of regular standard across the whole sector. But hearing, for example, Emma Wellman from uh, Ellis Court Olympia, live examples of how things have been done just proves that it is applicable. We're realising now we're using that resource at a too fast rate and it certainly isn't sustainable. So anything that we can do to redress that balance is, has got to help. This is a standard that's been created by the industry for the industry, so it's a very exciting opportunity. Well, I think that the case studies are really valuable. I mean, I think it's um, that the whole trialling process is something that's, that is actually been very helpful to um, creating a better, more robust standard. And I hope that BSI continue to do that. So the event has been well worthwhile and I look forward to playing our part at United to promote this uh, standard and initiative in the North West and, uh, and go on from there. It's been a great day. Thank you.